Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says Ankara had warned Belgium that one of the two brothers who carried out the attacks in Brussels was a terrorist. Ankara had deported Ibrahim El Bakraoui to the Netherlands last July, but Belgian authorities later released him. Daesh has claimed responsibility for the bombings at Brussels airport and a metro station. Officials say the terror attacks killed 31 people and wounded 270 others. Myanmar's parliament held a session on Thursday and confirmed 80 nominees for the incoming government's cabinet. It is not yet clear which ministries they have been assigned to. Aung San Suu Kyi, who is among the confirmed nominees, is reported to head four ministries. The constitution bars Suu Kyi from taking office because her children are foreign citizens. Many people have been expecting the president-elect, Tin Chao, to serve as her proxy. Australia's Minister for Infrastructure and Transport says the plane debris recovered from Mozambique earlier this month is almost certainly from MH370. The Malaysia Airlines flight had disappeared two years ago with 239 passengers and crew on board. It was travelling from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. Malaysia's transport minister says a Malaysian team will search along the coast of Mozambique and South Africa. A piece of debris was discovered on the southern coast of South Africa two weeks ago. President Dene Sasse Ngeso has won another seven-year term in office. He's held office for 32 years. The Republic of Congo's Interior Ministry says he took 60% of the vote. The government has shut down internet and mobile services since the election began. And opposition candidates say they won't accept the results. Last year, Congo voted to allow Ngeso to extend the country's term limits. Thanks for watching TRTWorld.com, Istanbul. Oh.